What is good Raider Nation, your boy Raider Alex. For anybody that's new, make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Today we will dive into the exceptional performance of LSU Heisman Trophy winner Jaden Daniels. In this analysis, we're going to examine the All-22 film, dissecting his remarkable season. Jaden Daniels' stats speak for themselves. He threw for 3,800 yards, 40 touchdown passes, 10 rushing touchdowns, and only four interceptions. 50 total touchdowns is absolutely insane for a single player. There's no doubt he's an electrifying prospect with flashes of brilliance and elite athletic prowess that earned him the prestigious Heisman Trophy Award. But without further ado, let's jump right into the tape. First game we're going to analyze is against Alabama. In the first series of the game, Alabama is going to play man coverage and put some pressure on Jaden. He does a good job picking up on this. I like the read he makes by throwing this, but I think the pass is slightly late and the pass was slightly inaccurate as well. Had he thrown this just a little earlier, he could have had a better chance of converting this third down. Next play, Alabama plays with no safety help over the top and LSU makes them pay with their speedy vertical threats and this is just a perfect throw by Jaden Daniels for an easy touchdown pass. I don't love the decision making here on this rep, especially so early into the game throwing this deep pass into double coverage. He could have dumped it off quickly or even just thrown it out of bounds, but this was a dangerous throw. Luckily for him, it did not result in an interception. Now, one thing that is very evident about watching this guy's film is if you don't quarterback spy him, he will make you pay with big runs on the ground just like he does here. Here Alabama is going to come out in a cover 4 zone. I love how this play develops and what Jaden Daniels does to make this play happen. Initially nobody's open down the field, he stays patient in the pocket, eventually moves to his right when met with pressure and I just absolutely love how he keeps his eyes down the field in the scramble drill until he finds the open man. The pass wasn't perfect but it was good enough to get the first down. Good overall progression and just execution on this one. On this rep, this pass was thrown way behind the wide receiver on this underneath drag route, which leads to an incomplete pass. He's gotta be more consistent on these type of throws. But on the next drive, he bounces back and he hits his receiver on this in route. He's able to just identify his zone coverage. And then after that, he's able to just find the soft spot for just an easy completion and first down. Now this rep is another example of Jaden Daniels throwing it behind his receiver, the running back. They had a nice matchup on this man-to-man -man play and he got the running back on the linebacker but this has to be thrown towards the sideline to allow the running back to have a shot at exploiting this mismatch. Gotta clean that up. Here they get Jaden Daniels involved in a quarterback design run and they just showcase his threat as a runner inside the red zone for a touchdown. Once again, here we see his ability to create big plays as a runner. Nothing was open down the field. He has pressure coming from his left hand side. He evades the pressure and completely takes off. He is so explosive and quick when he runs the football and he takes this for a huge chunk play. These are some of the plays that just make him so exciting as a prospect. And on this rep, once again, he drops back, sees the opening, he sees a lot of open grass, and he just gets another big play, exploiting his speed on the scramble. Here Alabama run man-to-man -man coverage, and Jaden is going to take a deep shot outside the numbers, and he's able to complete this deep pass. I was impressed by the arm strength and the overall ball placement. He puts this in an area where the Alabama defensive back really could not make a play on the ball, and his receiver was able to come down with the grab. Just impressive throw and catch right here. Now here the only interception of the day and this is just some bad luck as he tries to hit the slant route who was wide open. 
but the ball unfortunately gets tipped at the line of scrimmage and it results in an easy interception for Alabama. Versus Florida, the first play of the game here in Florida is going to match them up with man-to-man -man coverage and we can see the wide receiver in motion at the bottom of the screen runs like a deep drag route and he's able to create separation. Not a whole lot of separation so the pass has to be on time and very accurate to complete this but it can be done and Jaden Daniels throws this way behind and look these are the type of tight windows he will see a lot more consistently at the next level so the accuracy has has to be a lot more precise and consistent. Now he's a quarterback who is very comfortable throwing on the move. Here they roll him out to his right for a simple one read type of progression. So as a rookie I could see teams doing things like this to ease him into the games and just building his overall confidence. Now this was a great play being able to gain yards using his legs but the only thing I don't like is he shows tendencies of just immediately using his legs to scramble when being hit with pressure at times. Ideally I like when quarterbacks use their legs to escape pressure while always having their eyes down the field to make big plays with their arm so there's no doubt he's an explosive athlete but you don't want a guy who is so dependent on using his legs. Here is another simple play but we got the tight end running in motion and Florida is going to send a blitzer and I just like the read. I like how Jaden quickly recognizes the blitz and he throws it right behind where the blitzing linebacker is coming from able to find the soft spot in their zone coverage. A very simple but effective play that shows Jaden Daniels can make quick reads and the throw was accurate and on time just good stuff right here. Here is a good accurate throw outside the numbers along the sideline off the comeback route. Ideally at the next level though you want to see this be thrown a little quicker as typically NFL defensive backs aren't going to play this soft of coverage but you know it's still a good read and throw. Top of your screen we got a wide receiver running in motion and LSU is going to get a perfect look. They follow him on the motion so you are definitely anticipating man to man coverage and they get this pick route which essentially leaves the wide receiver wide open but Jaden Daniels misses. If Jaden Daniels can hit him in stride here he's probably got himself a touchdown pass but the pass was just way off target. This is definitely a play he's got to make just a big opportunity miss right here but on the very next snap they go in the air once again off the 2x2 two two stack formation and his receiver is able to gain a step on his man and this time Daniels delivers the ball placement was perfect and he hit him right in stride throws it towards the sideline which prevented the defensive back from having a shot on making a play on the ball just a great throw you know it's weird I'm not sure how he's able to make this type of throw and he misses on the last one but the consistency on his throws is what really needs to be improved on Another big play on the scramble, but if we look here closely at the play, as the routes develop down the field, he had number two and number eight wide open on this route, and instead he just decides to tuck it down and take it for himself. Look, although this was a great play and it resulted in more yards than if he would have hit his open man, these type of tendencies are not something you want to see from your franchise quarterback because using your legs is not always going to work. You got to hit the open receivers when they're there. So although this will go down as a huge highlight reel, I'm sure this is a scenario where his coaches called him out on this when they reviewed the film and this is something that he needs to snap out of. Inside the red zone they got a cover zero look and Florida brings the pressure. He does a good job quickly identifying the pressure, the blitz, identifying his mismatch and getting the ball out quickly but this pass was just slightly inaccurate which prevents what should have been a touchdown pass. Now I don't know maybe the wide receiver is at fault here. Maybe Jaden wanted him to run this a little bit more toward the corner of the end zone. Not sure exactly what happened but that slight miscommunication or the inaccuracy on this throw is what led to a missed touchdown. This play right here showcases why he was a Heisman Trophy winner and why he is easily the most dynamic athlete of this whole draft. He's got elite speed. Watch him take this for 85 yards on the read option. You just don't see very many quarterbacks that can make these type of plays.
On this rep, simple play, but I like how he shows the ability to go through his progression, scans the right side of the field first, nothing he likes there, and then he moves across the field and he sees the wide open man, accurate throw as well, good stuff. But once again, on the next play, we see a play where he doesn't see the open man here on this corner route and instead decides to take it for himself for another huge play. In college, he was able to run for big yards at will, it felt like, but at the next level, it's going to be harder to rely on this solely as the speed is so much more different at the NFL level. Now here's just a good little back shoulder throw with just great execution on this rep. He definitely has the talent to make a lot of these throws. LSU is going to drop back for a deep pass on this play and this time he really doesn't have any options open down the field so I like him using his legs on this rep in that type of scenario and that type of situation and this play I mean this stuff is just absolutely crazy he makes it look so easy running the football this is like when you would used to play NCAA 14 with a created player who was 99 overall maxed out in speed agility etc that's really how easy easy Jaden Daniels is able to make it look and he takes this for a 50 yard run just crazy stuff right here another huge play but this time using his arm talent Florida is going to stick with that man to man coverage and the receiver at the bottom of your screen is able to beat him off the line I like how early Jaden Daniels sees this and boom he's able to get this out of his hand which allows him to fit this in a tight window between the cornerback and the safety help over the top the receiver doesn't even break stride either so if Jaden Daniels can make big plays like this with his arm more often and more consistently you're definitely looking at a potential franchise quarterback another great throw on this back shoulder fade perfect ball placement but his wide receiver just isn't able to come down with the catch hits him right in the hands I like the throw this is just a simple pitch and catch football right here number 11 at the bottom of your screen beats his man and Daniels is able to hit him in the back of the end zone for another touchdown pass I love his overall footwork and mechanics he displays right here when throwing the football just beautiful stuff to watch versus Florida State another example of on this short throw the accuracy issues are starting to linger the running back is wide open with 20 yards of open field in front of him and the pass just sails on him this could have easily been a 20 yard gain if he thrown it accurately it's just a missed opportunity here he misses a wide open receiver on this drag route the pressure gets to him so he had to just throw this earlier get the ball out of his hands and this time he is not able to use his legs to bail him out this is exactly why he can't fully rely on this at the next level I see a lot more plays like this happening in the NFL if he doesn't hit his open receivers consistently like I said he has to get rid of that tendency here Florida State is going to bring a blitz and run man coverage. Jaden Daniels is able to get this pass off quickly on time and with great accuracy along the sideline on this comeback route. He has the accuracy and the ability to make these throws but he just got to do it more consistently. So overall what are my thoughts and opinions on Jaden Daniels? Look Jaden Daniels is arguably the most intriguing prospect in the whole NFL draft class with his athleticism and the ability to throw the football. You can definitely argue he might have the highest upside of this year's draft. I also don't see him being like a huge project like how I saw Anthony Richardson was last year so definitely an intriguing prospect. This guy reminds me of having the athleticism of a Lamar Jackson type of player but his skill sets as a passer are much further along than what Lamar Jackson possessed coming out of college so that's a huge upside. Jaden Daniels to me is the best athlete in this quarterback class without a doubt. He has a strong arm but he shows some tendencies as a passer that are a bit concerning and he has inconsistencies when throwing the football accurately. 
Now, when it comes to him being more consistent on his accuracy throwing the football, that doesn't really concern me a whole lot because I think that's something that it can be improved on. If the player really wants to, that can be improved through coaching and just the overall repetitions he puts in in his training. But the biggest concern for me is his tendencies to rely on his legs, overusing his arm, and just reading defenses and beating him that way, hitting his open receivers. There are several different occasions where his wide receiver was wide open and instead of throwing it he just decides to use his legs and ultimately more times than not it resulted in big plays in college that's great he can get by like stuff like that since he is the best athlete on the field but at the next level where the speed is much quicker he cannot keep doing this he cannot fully rely on that he has to hit his receivers when they are open and only use his legs when he has to that's where he could become unstoppable he also has a very thin frame so he's gonna have to bulk up and at the next level i think he's gonna have to do a better job of avoiding getting hit when he scrambles or else i'm afraid he will get injured and miss time Jaden Daniels does have direct ties with our head coach Antonio Pierce so that could mean that he's a quarterback that is on our radar and he's very likely going to be a little more easier to trade for than a guy like Caleb Williams and to me Caleb Williams is the best prospect in this draft the most complete you can book it he's going to be the number one overall pick. But at the same time, Jaden Daniels has been rising up boards as of lately. He's still projected by many to be like a top three, top five pick. So at the same time, if we want to get him, it's not going to be easy either. You're going to have to give up a lot of draft capital for him as well. I mean, this is a tough one for me. I do like him as a prospect. He is so dynamic. He is so exciting to watch. But I am just a little skeptical about trading up for Jaden Daniels. At the same time, I know he has tremendous upside, but there are just some flaws to his game that I can't ignore. And if we're going to trade up for a quarterback, Caleb Williams would be my priority. But at the same time, I understand he may not be attainable. It may be way too much draft capital we have to give up or just simply the Bears may not be interested in it. If we can't get Caleb Williams, then I can definitely see the Raiders being aggressive and trying to get a guy like Jaden Daniels. He does have some flaws, but he also has a lot of great traits. He's the most dynamic athlete of this draft by far. And from a passing standpoint, when it comes to his accuracy and ability to throw the football, you definitely have a very solid foundation to work from. But Raider Nation, those are my thoughts and opinions on Jaden Daniels. I definitely want to get your guys' feedback on this one. Let me know what you guys think of Jaden Daniels. What are some things you guys see? Do you think we should go ahead and try to trade up for him? Let me know in the comment section down below. But with that being said, Raider Nation, that is all I have for you guys in today's video. Anybody that's new to the channel, you guys love Raider related content just like this. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. That being said, I will see you guys.